Hello there ladies and gentlemen and we are back with another review and today we'll be reviewing uh, the Dragon Stars Super Sign Rose Goku Black. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, of course right up here it says Dragon Ball Super. Beautiful logo there. Right here in the clear window you have the beautiful Goku Black figure. Dragon Stars logo. Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and beautiful silver lettering. Up top, Dragon Stars logo, Bandai, Warning, Ages 4 Plus. Bottom, Dragon Ball Super logo. Move to the side, a beautiful illustration of Goku Black Rose. Over here, just a Dragon Ball Super logo. Down here, just the silver font again. Back of the box, Dragon Ball Super logo, Series 4. Dragon Star Series. Here's the other figures in the line that I do have. And of course, you collect them all together and you piece together Fusions Amasu or Merges Amasu. Uh, toy Animation, Bandai Funimation, all that good stuff. So, have all that cool stuff. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's go ahead and let's open this up. Okay, here we have um, Goku Black out of his box, and he's looking great. Um, for accessories, he comes with these two um, fist hands. Uh, mine came in the package with these two um, open palm hands or grab hands, whatever you want to call them. Um, and as you can see, it has the time ring. Right there. Uh, decently painted. And it's also painted on the hand over here, which looks nice. And then um, his keyblade. Which is basically the... the I'm pretty sure it's the same as uh, Zamasu's uh, keyblade, just a different color. It looks pretty. It's, it's soft plastic. It's not hard plastic. It's not sharp or anything. Kids won't hurt themselves with it. Um, I wish it would have been a little bit nicer, but, eh, you know, it's whatever. Um, put that aside, and of course, the piece of uh, Fusion Zamasu that he comes with is this leg. So, yeah, I mean, it's a leg. <laughs> it's painted black. It, it, it's okay. I mean, I don't see how you can mess up a leg. Um, you know, you have the little pivot at the ankle, full 360, and then... You know, an ugly knee joint that does that. I hate these knee joints. Because look at, look at the way that looks. That's ugly. But, yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> so, anyways, um, moving on to um, Goku Black Rosé. Um, if you guys want to know, uh, for a size comparison, of course, we'll get um, Zamasu out here. Here we have Zamasu. And yeah, you know what guys, this is the same the same blade. It is the exact same blade. So there's the Masu. Let's go ahead, let's measure Goku Black here. And he looks to be six and a half inches tall at the tip of the hair. And more or less like five and a half inches tall if you were to chop off all his hair. And as you can see over here, um, the Zamasu is just under the six inches. And that's because his hair is not as poofed out. Move this out of the way. And um, let's, let's compare him to Goku. Because it's supposed to be the exact same body. Don't fall on me, Goku. I'm recording. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, this Goku's going to follow me. Okay. Put it there. And yeah, they're the same height to the tip of the hair. Yeah, so both Goku Black and the actual Goku are 7 inches tall. Did I say 7 inches tall? Sorry, guys. 6 and a half inches tall. Just about under six and a half. Yeah, six and a half inches tall. Yeah, 
just six and a half or a little bit over six and a half inches tall. That's how big this guy is. Um, <laughs> I got to say, I'm thoroughly impressed. I like this very much. Um, let's go ahead. Let's come in and let's look at his face. Um, I like the smirk. I think they did a great job on the smirk. The eyes are okay. The paint is everywhere that it should be. Um, I, I feel like maybe the, the face sculpture could have been done a lot better. I think the, the, the face sculpt on Zamasu is better. This isn't bad. Um, you know, uh, the Vegito had a horrible derpy face. So this is in the middle. It, it, it's not as bad as the Vegeta. It's not as good as Zamasu. But this does encapsulate the character. You know, he has that grin. You have the, the Patara earring there. You have the sadistic smirk. Um, I love the metallic paint that they used here. It's the same. It's more or less the same metallic paint that they used on the Super Saiyan Blue. And not surprised that they're using it on the Super Saiyan uh, Rosé here. Don't know how it comes out in camera. On camera, it probably comes out a lot lighter. Um, it's definitely a lot more pink when you have it in person. Um, as, as far as the rest of the, the figure, um, the black looks good. No complaints. I mean, it's just black. Uh, you know, um, uh, an attention to detail that I noticed that I do like here that I want to point out is the fact that um, he is slimmer than the Goku. The Goku I have, that I was using right now for size comparison is um, a lot more muscular. This Goku Black is a lot slimmer. And I like that because that's how it came off in the anime. Um, the paint's all great. Don't have any complaints. There's no slop or anything. Like he looks great overall. Um, this is beautifully painted. Yeah, this is soft plastic. This is soft plastic. Um, this pieces of the, the shoulder here are soft plastic. Soft plastic. They did a real good job with the paint. And the sculpt could have been a little bit better in the face, but I'm not complaining. The colors are where it should be. Um, I guess we should get started with the articulation. Now, with the articulation to start off, we'll start off with the head. Um, he has a neck joint. I don't know if you guys could see it. I try to focus there. Unfortunately, you can't really see it. Um, but it's a neck joint. So his head can move like this. It can move like this. Of course, you can do a full 360. Um, the arms, it's as far as up as it'll go because the shoulder part's there. You can do a full 360 though. So the little shoulder part will move with it. So they did a good job on that. Same on this side, full 360 on this side. Um, full 360. At the bicep break here so you can do that of course at the elbow full 360 at the wrist and of course ballpoint at the wrist at the wrist no i said wrist <laughs> at the wrist so you can do that same thing over here the bicep elbow wrist ballpoint Ba pig. Man, I'm stumbling all over my words today, aren't I? Um, <laughs> here you have, I guess you could call this a uh, ab crunch. You can move like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. You can move that all around. Full 360. This is soft plastic, so it doesn't really hinder the legs. You can kick up like that. Kick back like that. Kick up like that, kick back like that. Knee joint, the knee joints that I hate, look at that. I hate that gap, I hate that gap so much. I hate the knee joints in these figures so much. 
Look at that gap. Oh man, that bothers me. That bothers me so, so much. Um, of course, there's no 360 action here. You 360 at the ankle, 360 at the ankle, and then of course you have a ball joint here. You can somewhat move around the ankle like that. And yeah, so I guess we'll um, show off the other set of hands and his keyblade. And here we have the clinch fist hands. And like I said before, um, it does have the beautiful time ring painted right there. So that looks nice. And of course, here we have the beautiful translucent soft plastic um, keyblade. Looks beautiful. And that's about it for the accessories. So I guess we'll close up with my final thoughts on this beautiful little figure here. But yeah, anyways, guys, final thoughts is that for $20, let's move the camera over here. For $20, this is a pretty cool, neat Goku Black Rosé figure to pick up. But the problem is right now, um, if you didn't know, is depending where you live, it's really hard to get a hold of this figure or get any of the figures. I was lucky to pick up Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Zamasu at a local GameStop. I had to buy this Goku Black off of someone off of a Facebook sales page because there was no way of me finding the Super Saiyan Rosé in stores. It had literally been the past two months calling every GameStop Think Geek in this city going on a wild uh, goose hunt looking for these figures with rose goku black being the most popular one and the hardest one to locate i finally got them you can get them on ebay you can get them on amazon currently on amazon they don't have them for twenty dollars i believe this particular figure is going for 70. scalpers really priced them up on eBay as well. I think I saw one for a hundred dollars and they're just it, it's just you know do not pay those those scalper prices. I did pay twenty dollars but uh I, I did pay over twenty dollars for mine but I didn't pay anywhere near forty fifty and dollars uh you know that amount and up to get this figure. He's a beautiful figure but he's not worth that amount of money. With that amount of money, you can go out and you can order yourself a nice SH Figure Arts um, Super Saiyan um, Rose Goku Black. But you know, for the price, this isn't bad. For $20, um, he's really good. He's a beautiful sculpt. The, the paint is what it should be. Not that it's complicated. I love the hair. Uh, perfect metallic hair like they did on their Super Saiyan um, Vegeta and Goku. Um, I love the little translucent blade. I wish it was a little bit more uh, more pink, but I'm not, I'm not complaining entirely. <clears throat> um, his articulation is good. You know, he doesn't suffer from articulation problems like Zamasu. Uh, but I do hate, you know, the the knee joints on this figure, but... Overall, guys, you know, if you see this in the store and you're a collector, then grab it. Pick it up because these these guys are so hard to find right now. I learned my lesson. I pre-ordered the next two waves. And, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll never trust, um, you know, myself to go out and get them on time. But, you know, like I said, you know, pick this up at your local GameStop. Think Geek, Walgreens carries them. They're $20 or they should be inflated to like 22 something. Pick them up there. Uh, don't give in to the scalpers or anything like that. And, and don't pay way too much for these figures. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on this review. As I said, well worth the 20 bucks. Um, just don't expect SH Figure Arts amounts of detail and um articulation but for 20 bucks you can't beat this 
This is really good. Um, like I said, this is Jay. Thank you for joining me in this unboxing slash review, whatever you want to call it. Uh, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when my videos drop because YouTube's being really weird. <laughs> like it always is. The, the darn ag uh, uh, algorithm or, or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Stop believing one of my words. But anyways, don't forget to smile. I'll catch you guys later.